All right, I'm here okay. with Chancy Wigglestove, Squiddy. Uh, I booked the time here to do today to do his uh, YCS Seattle interview. He did finish top 32. Really impressive stuff. Lots of people there. So, what did you play there? I played Zodiac, um, Pure Zodiac. And, uh, well, do you think it's the best variant? There was Metal Full Zodiac, there was Kaiju Zoo. Why did you choose this variant over the other two? Uh, I like this one because it's just consistent. You don't draw bad cards like the Kaijus. And like the deck with Metaphos is that it's not that good going second because it loses to a lot of traps. And like any non pure Zodiac, it feels like you're just doing Zodiac like turn one and then the rest of the game you're just playing like whatever like non Zodiac cards it is. How many rounds were there? It was like 10 rounds. I think, yeah. 10 rounds. What did you play? I played like all Zodiac actually, except for one like uh, Paleozoic and then one like a hero synchro, which was my friend from Kelowna, so that was kind of cool. Okay, that's what you got. This is one thing that I did see a lot at uh, Seattle. Chain burn. What do you think of a chain burn deck? I actually like playing against decks like that because it really like tests your skill level. You know, like with this deck, when you play chain burn, you uh, you chain like a uh, you have to get two whip tail to your hand as ASAP, so you can use both of them. If you chain both of them, then they can't use like chain strike or accumulated fortune because they can't use it if there's two or more uh, cards of the same name in the chain link. So it's really skillful. I think actually like it despite not playing any, but. Okay. You were presenting yeah, one team at uh, down in Seattle. Which yeah, team, was team that? Dank Dios. Shout out to Marcus and Hector. Uh, Marcus lent me all the cards, so without him, I would have no way of playing the stack. So thank you so much to Marcus and Team Dank Dios. All right. So I, I did see a bit of your deck earlier. Yeah. I'm very curious to see your text and your the reason why you went into those decks. So I guess we'll go into the deck profile. Yeah. All right, Chancy. Let's see your deck profile. All right. It's uh, actually pretty standard. So through this guy. If you open this one and Thoroughblade and you have defense, you usually summon this and dump the trap because it's better. In the mirror match, you want to get the trap in the grave ASAP. Um, if you don't have defense, you can use Thoroughblade to pitch this. But I think it's better to do that. And then, um, three whip tail because it's just really standard, good card. Uh, I played three Thoroughblade. I think you have to play three because it's just a really good card with huge attack that you can beat down. Usually, you want to attack first before you XYZ because of barrier. And also with like Tanky, he's 1700, and then the effect to dump something. If they have back row and you have like a whip tail, and you summon this, a lot of times you don't use the effect because any like competent player is going to strike it, and then you miss out on 1600 of damage. So you don't use the effect, but you attack for 16 and then you overlay. Um, I also played three because I didn't play Terra Tops, so also oh, no Terra no ter ter Topless, I guess. No Terra Tom. No Tom Box. I couldn't find ultimate, so I couldn't play it. Oh no, ulti, no play. <laughs> <laughs> and then I play two of this guy. It's really good because you can draw into it with max C and also like you can use it. Uh, the correct way to use it is actually on the monster effects, so like Thoroughblade or like Rapier effect, because that way they can't get Dryden no matter what they do. Also, it hits like uh, the Barrage and just it's a really good card to draw into when you're max C. And two max C. This card should be banned. It's like the card of the format. People say that Dimensional Barrier is like a broken one. But I actually think Barrier is fine. This is a card that needs to be banned because it just like stops everything and you have to give them two draws. There's actually a way to play around Maxi with like some unique plays I can show in the deck as we get to it. And that's all the monsters. I would play Terra Top if I went back in time. I feel like I definitely should have played that card. You think the advantage you get from Terra yeah, is way too free? Be. Yeah, it's way too good. Like Totem Bird is unreal. And I wish I realized that before, but that's alright. Um, three Barrage, it's like insane card. Um, there's a play that you can uh, play around Maxi. I'll, sh I'll show you guys after. Um, Ooh, combos from Squiddy himself. Yeah, nobody knows about it too. That's a weird thing. Three of this card, it's insane. You have to play three. The 100 boost is really relevant. A lot of times you have Barrage and you don't blow this up. You blow up Barrage just so you can play around Barrier because it gives your XYZs 100 and you can attack over stuff. So that extra 100 is relevant. Exactly, yeah. And then two of this card, I found it in my mom's basement and then like a month later everyone figured out what it did and we're playing it so uh, it's just really good it's like a better starlight road because you can it stops ghost ogre it stops this card if someone's using this on your dryden you can chain this to protect it it stops ghost ogre which is huge it stops sword wipes and it stops dryden going second too many um, cards yeah what when is that would you actually side a copy out i think uh, I actually never set it out because it's good going first and second, and I didn't play Scarlet Road, so like going first I needed it, and going second it stops like Dryden, and it destroys Dryden, which is really important. 
And then two instant fusion, it's really powerful because you can start some Norden. There's actually a cool thing you can do now is if you play that new invoked Raijin that just came out. Um, so if they max see you and you play this and you play right you can summon Raijin and then you can flip itself face down with its Book of Moon effect and then it doesn't die because it's protected. So if they max see you and you play Raijin now, you can summon Raijin and then he has 2400 and if they can't kill it then you know you have a free Raijin which is kind of cool. Um, and then I played these board wipes. I didn't play Kaijus because I don't like drawing them in the main deck and these cards are just like really standard removal. You just destroy anything, right? So. Uh, and that's all for the spells and the traps. I played two breakthrough. Um, this card was alright. It was supposed to be for like when they use all their combo in the emerald, you can stop their emerald. Or like you stop Rodville, it's like two for one, which is kind of cool and it works on artifacts. You use it to turn off Dryden's as well in your Yeah, exactly. And then this card, which is just like removal. Um, it was alright. Just like one for one when the game state's simplified in the mirror match, it's pretty good. And then um, I played three strike. Uh, it's not as good as Barrier, but it's still like, uh, it's really like um, just one for one removal and it stops like hand traps on your turn, which is kind of cool. And then three Barriers. Uh, it's the best card in the format right now for traps. And a lot of times you don't, you want to wait till the XYZ to use it just so they don't have that monster, like the big attack on board. Because if they have that and they have their own Barrier, then you can't get over the monster. And also because it makes them waste resources. And there's also ways of playing around this. If you think they have it, you might overlay like into Dryden right away because then you can chain on top of it. So it's a really great card. And there's a lot of mind games with it. And then I played uh, for the last traps. I played Mono Tarantula. It's really insane card that just like wins games. It's a board clear during their turn. It just wipes out everything. If, like at the end of the rat combo, if you do this on the Emerald, they lose everything. And then one Mirror Force, which is like the same thing, but like when they attack. I was actually surprised a lot of people were playing around this. And like the fact that my body is a card, it just makes this card so much worse than it was. But I think it's still better than the other Mirror Forces because it clears their board period and then you can attack for damage on the following turn. And then one of this card, of course, it's really great. You just want to get it in the graveyard ASAP. I remember Mirror Force during our practice matches online. We're talking, it's like, oh, what do you got? A mirror force or like my OTK? And then you blow me out with a mirror force. That's hilarious. Yeah. It definitely made it like uh, something that I could not discredit. All right. Thank you for that. Let's see the extra deck. Without the Teratops, what did you fill in? Yeah, I had so much more room because I didn't play Teratops. So I played two of each, uh, two of that guy, two of that guy, um, two Dryden's. And then I played three Broadbow, because if you instant fusion, you can overlay this like regularly, and then you overlay something else on top, and then you make another one, so you get two searches. Um, and then I also, that's it for the ZDX. And then two Emeralds, of course. Really great card. 1800, if you have a barrier, they can't kill it without a board clear. And then um, this card for instant fusion, um, this card for the OTKs, and this card that never came out. This is supposed to be for uh, Infernoids. Oh, so you can negate the Infernoids on yeah, right totally. off the bat. Really good. Let's go check out some of your sides. Side deck, I played. Your mentality on your side. Uh, it was really standard. I played the Kaijus in my side deck, the seven that seven. I kept drawing. I, I couldn't, yeah. <laughs> So you got four monsters and three slumbers. And then three slumbers, yeah. It's just like, you want to see this card ASAP, it's so good. Just having like, the fact that it board clears and then you get like a 3,000 attack is just insane. Instant OTK. Exactly, and then next turn you can search one so you turn off the Dryden's again. And then I played two of this card for like Paleozoic and like Rogue. Um, I didn't want to play this main deck, I never saw this ring mirror, I don't think it's good at all in the mirror match. Uh, it's just really for like back row heavy decks. You have to play it. In, you have to play into the strikes and the barriers. Yeah, right? totally. I feel like you can just outgrind them without it. And then there's three of this card. It's the best, hands down, the best card for Infernoid. You can side it going second too because this deck has so many one card combos that you can just like either Dark Hole and then wrap here and then you set this and it's just like turns off everything. So you have to play three, I think. It's better than Lance, yeah. And then three of this card just for Metaphos. I don't side it against Mirror either. I don't think it's good because you can't kill them on the next turn. So it's just like for Metaphos and like Pendulum. And for like uh, spell decks like Blue Eyes or whatever. Yeah, that's Sounds good. And yeah, I, actually I'll show you guys a quick play that people were asking about online. Alright, so I'll show you guys the play. If you open this and Barrage in your opening hand, I see a lot of people like playing it bad. They activate this first and then they summon like their blade, which is incorrect because you want to play around Maxi, right? The way to play around Maxi, a lot of people don't know this, if you open these two, what you do is you keep this in your hand, you normal summon wrap here and use the effect to dump this, right? And then after that resolves, 
Yeah. You start doing like inherent things. The key to play around Maxi is to get Dryden out before you use the effect of here. And that's possible with Barrage, because you overland a list, uh, you search for Whiptail, and then you add that to your hand, and then you overlay this for uh, this in attack mode, because anytime you have Whiptail in your hand, you want these in attack mode, because 1200 attack mode. And then you reattach Rep here. And then from here you overlay right away into Dryden. I'm gonna put it in defense mode because we're gonna pitch this later. Um, so you do this, right? And so far they can't max see you. And from here you detach this to special summon rat from your deck. And if they max see you here, you can just stop because you already have Dryden. But if they don't max see you, you summon another rep here. And then from here you overlay this into uh, Borbo. And then you use the effect of Borbo to special summon another rep here from your deck. So your board is like this pretty much right now. And then from here you activate Barrage. And you use Barrage to target this, to destroy this. And then you summon this from your deck. And use the effect to draw a card. And then from here you overlay for Digesto Emerald. Because this way all your summons are inherent. So if they max you at any time, you can just stop because you already have Dryden. And then the, this just makes it so you can do that. And then you recycle three. And you use the same amount of cards. Um, you, you actually use the same amount of cards as a regular rat combo, except for you, use, you burn like one extra XYZ and that's it. But you play around max seed. Also, like, it doesn't matter if they ghost target you, because if they ogre you like off Dryden, you get Emerald, which is better than Dryden. Or if they ghost target you at any other time, you just do this in the Thrill Blade, pitch one, and then you make Dryden. So. Well, that's a really nice way to play around max seed. Yeah, that's with uh, if you open rap here and then it like if you open like if you don't open rat if you open like these two uh, you do like something similar you just summon this and then you um, you search first for like whiptail and then from here you make dryden and then after you make dryden you activate barrage and then you use barrage to special summon rat and then with rat you just um, you overlay for the the borbo and then you use the effect to special summon another rat and then at the end of the combo you Overlay this into uh, Tiger Mortar, and then use this effect to reattach Rat, and use special summon Rat and do Emerald. And then this way you just play around Maxi. Barrage just makes it so you can play around Maxi the whole time. Oh wow! Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to give him like five, six cards. Exactly. Yeah, you can stop because you made this first. And a lot of people don't know that, but it's really a good thing to know because you want to play around Maxi, right? Like giving them an extra card means you lose a lot of time. All right. So yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. So thank you so much, Chancey, for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed it, even though it's a little. Late. Oh, but I think it's still relevant. It Sorry, is still Zoo. Yeah. It's still Zoo. You were busy, so yeah. I mean, I really appreciate you taking your time coming out in the snow mm -hmm. to come and do this. Any shout out to any other shout you want to give? Uh, shout out to you guys, of course, MST TV. Shout out to Dank Deals, Marcus, Hector, and yeah. And if anything, you want to keep up to date with our content or see more of this guy, maybe you'll catch him in other events. Stay tuned. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you guys want to see more stuff from MST.TV, drop a like and hit the left button over here to subscribe. Or if you want to check out another video from us in the past, click here on the right. And as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV.